On, on that note, uh, why don't we get started with the real discussion here? Oh, uh, we were just finishing up. Not that that one wasn't. You're late. Very you, you forgot to change your clocks. Uh, no, I didn't. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I made you look yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Actually, I was working on the bug just yesterday, or day before yesterday, that that caused all the Second Life clocks to be wrong. Oh, yeah, right. The, the SLT time clocks. Yeah. So, I think I that one. Fix, fix for that is in the pipeline. The real fix for that is in the pipeline. The workaround has, of course, been in place since a few hours after it started. But. Uh, I didn't know you were using you. iOS. Sorry? No, okay. I was just... Just kidding that, you know, the iOS and uh, iPhones, they all had this problem with uh, switching time. So I said, I didn't know you were running well, iOS. At the... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, my, it my is, comment. alas, worse than that. But it's the way it goes. My, my comment was that our support team thanks you for the fix. Well, because you have, that was several hours of fun. Yeah. Uh, well, it, 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 it the, the workaround that got put in place is, is not pretty, but it will last until the next time change. So the, what I've been working on is the real things. Um, anyway, uh, let's, let's uh, get to our agenda here. Um, we have lots of candidates out there right now. Um, the hotfix candidate is one that Monty was has been working on. It's a threading problem um, that is at least uh, manifests when there's various FMOD X things going on. It's not strictly speaking only an FMOD X problem. Um, we think that's a that's a good and important fix, but it doesn't seem to have done all we hoped it would do uh, yet. Is, that's so, not something necessarily that we need, is it? Uh, you would have to look at it and see whether or not it would be helpful to you. And if hmm. you've done something different than that, um, we might be interested in hearing about it. But, um, uh, anyway, that's, that's out there. Um, the voice candidate is just the, the release viewer with the new Vivox um, yeah, Latif had something to say about that. Well, let, we'll get back to that in a minute. Um, I'm, I'm running that one. Uh, it does seem to... I've been running it for several days now because I've been doing a lot of meetings lately, and uh, it does seem to me to work better, but um, it certainly solves some of the... It solves the... Um, for those of you doing any support and running into this, uh, on Macs... You couldn't use uh, an iPhone headset adapter anymore with, without without this one, and it's fixed now, which is nice. So there were then there were some, apparently some other problems in the Mavericks. So um, those are all uh, those are all fixed in this one. Uh, running down the list, uh, Sunshine. You know, the latest and greatest set of changes in essentially the last wave of changes for, I think, for um, the, the avatar baking changes and related inventory interfaces. Uh, the uh, interest list. How, you know, how's that looking, by the way? Sunshine is looking pretty good, relatively speaking, although none of them are as, as good as we'd like them to be. Um, we're, we're going through a, we were kind of hoping the hotfix thing would get us back down below what we consider to be a, uh, an acceptable, if not admirable, crash rate, um, but, uh, but it hasn't, at least not yet. Let me bring up that page, actually, so that I can look at these. Yeah, all of these are still due for updates, uh, or all, all but the hotfix release are are behind, um, and, and most of them have updates that are about to come out. Um, the Google Brakepad is going to make yet another appearance 
Um, we think we've actually wrestled a bunch of problems to the ground in that one. Hopefully this will be the last round uh, of changes for that. Um, any of you that are using Google Breakpad might want to look at what we've done because it's good stuff. Um, and the merchant outbox changes. Is that one actually still? Yeah, that one's actually still out there. So um, that's uh, more candidates than we'd really like to have out. And in fact, we've got a couple that are holding back just because it's too many. Um, uh, including Zipper, um, the group bands, and well, Snowstorm is out there, but it is, is coming together. But I'm, 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 there's one more issue that I definitely want to get into it that's not that's not really ready. So I'm still working on that. Uh, that's a collection of random fixes of sort of various sorts. Um, and of course, you've all seen that the Oculus Rift viewer is now in a in a restricted beta release. Yeah, we've already got people demanding that we release it in Firestorm now. Pissed off that we didn't release it in just our past release. Yeah, but we haven't made that code public, so how could exactly. you? Exactly. Could you <laughs> just, could I forward them to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, at least a part of the concern there, um, just so that you, you know, it's not the only concern, but it, it, at least a part of the concern is um, we're fairly sure that if we just put it out there the way we would an ordinary project viewer, that um, people would start downloading it and trying to – you can run it on a regular monitor. You can even put it into Oculus Rift mode, and you end up with you've, – you've probably seen screenshots of this. You get two pictures on, on yeah. one monitor, right? And um, – we get people trying to use it that way and telling us that we've done the interface wrong and this, that, and the other thing, um, <laughs> which, you know, eventually we're going to get anyway, but um, it, it, it just seems sensible to actually give it to people who actually have the right hardware to use it the way it was intended to be used Yeah. Um, and, and get their feedback first. Right. But that can't be a very big gene pool right now. Is uh, it? It's actually remarkably large. Um, Really, it's it's a lot more people than we thought it was going to be. Um, so I actually just got one of those. It was, you got an Oculus? Yeah, you remember the the Colada export thing I wrote for Singularity, and then yeah. the Unity 3D people said, you know, this is very useful. We can uh, you know make stuff in uh, OpenSim uh, and then uh, import it directly into Unity with that, and then sent me one as a gift. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, did you get the did you did you get our viewer, Latif? No, no, I didn't apply for the beta yet. I'm, I I plan to, but got sidetracked. Yeah, dude. Just all I gotta do is drop my note. I'll give you the, the download links and all that. Uh, so, uh, I mean, it's it's out there. It's it's gettable. Um, I, I just got it yesterday. I didn't even unpack it or connect it yet, but I I, I intend to, to play with it, of course. Yeah, well, it's. It's. Uh, I I got to look at this before they had gotten all the UI features right, but I could at the at the point you know to make them usable enough. But um, I I uh, I actually you know put it on and wandered around my my little raft there at the back of the other corner of the island, and um, it it was pretty. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, so I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be pretty dramatic. Um, so that's it's going, that's in the it's, that's in the pipeline. It's going to be hard, uh, you know, text chatting with it, though. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I kind of see the Oculus Rift as being a, a thing for navigating, like if you're flying around Second Life, you know, that kind of a thing. But you know, building, um, typing for sure would be a problem. I, I think it'd be well. I don't know. I can touch type without looking. Um, uh, the, um, but I think it's going to be, voice will be a lot more popular with Rift users than yeah. text chat um, for fairly obvious reasons. Um, still it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, Make sure you don't put your coffee cup near your keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, I really can't, 
uh, answer what the what the final version of the UI looks like because I didn't see it. I I, I played with it a couple of months ago, very briefly, uh, and I did manage to not get nauseous. Uh, I got good coaching on what not to do. Um, uh, apparently, they've made a bunch of fixes since then that reduced that problem somewhat. But um, it is it is pretty intense. A couple of people who've done a lot of uh, stuff in it say it's more tiring than um, really. Then, uh, yeah, because it's, it's because it's so real. Um, hmm. In fact, one of the one of the guys who who tried it on um, one of the uh, on one of the shooters, not in Second Life, but tried it on one of the shooters, said it was it, it was exhausting to be in it because you really felt as though you know people were shooting at you. I mean, it was it wasn't like somebody on a screen shooting at you. It was like somebody in your neighborhood shooting at you. Oh, combat you know? would really like that, wouldn't they? Yeah, it was really intense. Uh, they said it was kind of exhausting. Um, anyway, enough, enough on, on that. Um, uh, so so there's that. Uh, there was something to say about the new Vivox, Latif? Oh, yeah. I was. Uh, I took the latest SDK that you have in, in your uh, release candidate. We are... And the Mac and Windows versions work fine, but uh, I cannot get the Linux version. I have to, you know, say that I haven't tried the official Linux Linden build. But in Singularity, it didn't work, and the package looked strange. It was well, huge. It, it didn't change. The Linux version yeah. is not new. It's it's the same yeah, old but version. We haven't got a Linux did. build of the 4.6 yet. Uh, okay. But but it's it's uh, the 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 SO is like forty megabyte big, and it even compressed it adds fourteen megabyte to the install uh, package. So I, I don't know what's what worth it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the the uh... well in comparison, the the Windows libraries compressed in the installer they take around three megabyte. And Mac is also three, four megabyte. The Linux SO is forty megabyte uncompressed, fourteen when when packaged. So I don't think that the Linux package is right. There's something wrong with it. Okay. Well, it is, the 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 Linux package in that viewer is not different. It's the four point five Vivox plugin because they haven't given us the Linux one yet. Um, we did yeah. have a talk with them about doing about about providing the Linux package, uh, and I think that that will eventually happen. But it's a much lower priority than uh, than others. Um, uh, well, whatever. Um, so yeah, I. Uh, Really, did you use this uh, four or five build that is in the in the Linden release candidate for voice? Yeah, um, the uh, I, I mean the issue. This isn't really going to surprise anybody. The issue is that that's a very low priority for Linux. Unfortunately, is a low priority for everybody. Um, we're not the only ones, um, so. Uh, I have been talking to them about it, about getting getting that updated, um, and I think it will, in the fullness of time, happen. But I am not prepared to guess how soon. Uh, so, uh, but we'll we'll try to get that sorted out eventually, at least. Um, so, uh, but the one that's in there is not is not the four six nine. Yes, we're also talking to them about getting 64-bit builds. So, is that something you would release to us before the lab has 64 builds to use them in, or is uh, that something you could release that's, anyways? That's the intent. Yes, that's the awesome. idea. Awesome. Right. Um, and you know, who knows? Maybe we'll get around to doing 64-bit fewer builds someday too. But, I think you should sooner or later. Sooner I, than later. I I have been making that argument, but. Yeah, show them the stats. If I may have the 64-bit viewer, 
that would be really wonderful for those of us that use the um, pathfinding tools is to have that 64-bit viewer with the pathfinding with Havoc in it. That's one reason why I don't use the 64-bit version of Firestorm is because it does not have the Havoc in it. Right. For me, it's a little difficult with doing things with mesh and stuff. Right. Right, I understand. Um, I hear you, uh, but we're not there yet. Um, let's see. So, uh, are there other issues? Let's see. So, AIS version 3 is live on all the simulator channels now. So if you're interested in that, it's out there. Um, and that pretty much goes through my topic list. So the floor is open. Um, I don't have a lot to say uh, from my end. We've passed the 50K mark on downloads. That's about it. But the vast majority of them are on... Uh... 64-bit. Um, the, Norton did bring up one thing. The, the bugs for Mac that came out with Coco. Is there anything going on at Linden Lab to fix them? Uh, I, there, are, there are individual issues that are getting attention, but there's not a, a concerted push to clean up Coco issues as a class. So we've got, um, we're, we're talking about at some point in the next couple of weeks, we'll be putting a block on 440 Firestorm. Um, and uh, that brings 4.4.2, uh, which is our last release before we merge Coco, um, would be the next victim of a block. And uh, there's a lot of Mac users who can't use anything but 442. So when it comes to time that we block 442, we may need to only, we can't really do it because we, we can't just block, uh, you know, Windows and Linux and not block Mac. Well, you can just uh, skip blocking that version, you know. It's not like it's written in a constitution somewhere. Yeah. But I think that's just, that's what the reality is going to be, is that until Coco gets fixed, we just, we're going to have to keep 442 available for Mac people, and uh, this is going to be people that don't see fitted mesh. So, um, I confess to being a little mystified as to the, as to the, the level of vehemence about Mac issues. Uh, I run Second Life on a Mac every day for most of the day. And, I mean, yeah, there are a couple things that are slightly inconvenient. Alt camming doesn't work quite right right now. Um, up until this voice version, the, I couldn't use my Mac headphones. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it's not even nearly 15%. Um, and... Uh, you know, it's it's perfectly usable viewer. I'm not really sure that I understand what the what the issues are that are that make them so so impossible. Okay, no, it's not. Doesn't actually tell me anything even slightly useful. So um I'm happy to. I'm happy to uh, get details in a usable form, um, but uh, although I don't get to pick what gets necessarily what gets fixed. Um, well, if alt coming doesn't work quite well, I I can understand why people don't want to upgrade to that version. It, it, you got to keep in mind this zooms is out. 
it, when you all is, cam, you, you you frequently get zoomed out about a hundred meters, and then you have to. Zoom we're out. talking about users who, um, you know, I mean, no offense as a Linden, but as a Linden, you don't use Second Life the same way that um, the average user in Second Life uses the viewer, and you know relies on the viewer. Um, whereas for you guys, a lot of your time, I, I assume a lot of your time is spent in meetings in Second Life, whereas uh, the user in Second Life, their time is spent moving around, going around, visiting places, um, shopping, camming around is, you know, is yeah. just uh, oh, I, I, unavoidable. I, I, I'm not, I'm, I, I don't dispute that, but I don't know. We, I mean, we do have a lot of people on Max running the latest version. In fact, about the same percentage that run Max in general. So it's well, not true that people can't use it. There are a lot of people that use it. The last EPV meeting we had here, I heard a lot of Lindon, Lindens complain and bitch about it too, to be fair, Oz. So it's oh, yeah, not I'm, not saying, it, it's I'm not saying it's working well. I'm not saying it's perfect. Uh, it's just you you time. seem to be more tolerant to the broken software than the regular well, users here. Maybe. Maybe. But it's, it's, it's possible. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's six point something percent. Is, is, uh, I don't remember the latest exact numbers. But, uh, of our user base, that's a lot of people. <laughs> and so, because it, it brings a complication to us, um, probably more than any other viewer out there, in that we have volunteer live support people who have to sit there and listen to um, all the Mac people come and complain. And uh, so that, you know, that's a significant load for us, perhaps more than for other projects, even perhaps Linden Lab. Um, you know, in, in Linden Lab's case, you've got emails and you could just ignore the, the tickets. Whereas, you know, our users, our support people are, are in world and, and having people abusing them verbally. And um, so things like this become very sensitive and, and have a heavier impact on my team than perhaps others and and so we have to be particularly sensitive to these types of situations well uh you know if you can find mac people to help fix the bugs i'll be delighted to hear about it uh, i really wish we could that's uh, and that's realistically that's that's the very best i can tell you i mean that's that's my role is to get you guys to fix things yeah, right. <laughs> Coco uh, is just over our heads. You know, uh, it's um, well, especially you know, now we don't have Cinder. Guess what? Uh, that's that's the way things are. <laughs> so, but anyways, that's that's kind of the reality of our situation with uh, regards to blocking four four two. You know, as much as I'd, I'd like to, at some point, be able to do that, um, doing that it will just overload our support team, and and verbal abuse leads to burnout, leads to losing our support team. Yeah, I I, I understand the dilemma, and it's going to probably get worse because as more people start wearing fitted masks, your support yeah. team will be overloaded That's with right. people complaining about long stretched out outfits. So it's a bit of a a bit of a spot we're in. Yeah, there's there's workarounds for the long stretched out outfits on on MacOS, but they're not acceptable either because that just it, it, uh, it destroys our already limited performance. Well, I know performance is one thing that I'm definitely much more tolerant of problems with than many second life users. Mm. Yeah, disabling, and stability. Disabling uh, so you have hardware systems. stats. Um, your crash rate on Mac must be a lot. Have you looked? Have you had a chance to look to see if no, it's, what the crash rate is like from OS to OS? Uh, if you if you look at the crash rate on 10.9 and 10.8, it's not bad at all. Um, if you get onto old versions that people shouldn't be running anymore, it gets really bad. Um, hmm. uh, if if you Keep your uh, your OS X up to date. You, you actually will get a dramatic improvement in crash rate. At least statistically, people have. Um, and what's the crash rate between just Mac period and Windows period? What, what's uh, that look I, like? I don't. I don't have the numbers in front of me. Sorry, I don't. I don't remember. 
Well, are we also having any crashes with those that are still using XP? Because I know. Oh, XP is horrible. To... Yeah, XP is the worst. Um, it's <laughs> it's astonishing that anybody still runs the viewer at all on XP, given the crash rate it's got. Especially yeah, XP, the 32-bit XP is it's it's through the roof. Um, it's ridiculous. I finally got my my off of XP and onto Vista, but I'm not sure she's still having issues with being on Vista. But I'm the, right. If, I've if you know anybody that's on XP, um, you know, do them a favor and tell them to get off. Um, I mean, really, it's long past time. Microsoft has dropped support for it. It's now dangerous to be running XP. You are in danger. Your computer is vulnerable and will become more so. Um, so that's, that's my that's my understanding, Oz. But there again, by the same token, you also have the system requirements listing on your wiki still showing that you are supporting XP. Yeah, that's Something probably that's probably not going to be true for very much longer. Um, so. That's some updating right there. Yep, I, I, I agree with you. Um, but so, Tank it, asks a, a good question. Is Little Lab dropping support for 10.6? Or do you intend uh, to? I, at some point, yes, certainly. Um, uh, we, we're in the process of making decisions about what we're going to do about various older platforms. And um, it's probably true that at some point before too long, we will declare them no longer supported. Um, what that will mostly mean is that um, if you report bugs on them that we can't repro on later versions, we will ignore the bugs. Um, not that we'll actually actively stop it from working. Although we have, we are integrating the fix from Tank to require that you be at least up to date on the older operating systems. So on XP, you'll have to be on SP3. Um, really? Uh, or the installer our, won't install. Our users complain about 10.7 as well. So if you're on a Mac and you have an ATI card, you better run 10.8 or 10.9. Yes, get right. It doesn't, make, doesn't make any difference. I, I, I run my ATI card and I'm on 10.9.1. And uh, the fit mesh problem is atrocious. And the workaround <laughs> of disabling, either enabling ALM or disabling hard risk, I think, isn't acceptable because the... Uh, the performance uh, is just too high. Yeah, well, um, I mean, that's... There, there you go. Uh, I mean, I can't... Obviously, I can't diagnose and correct individuals' problems, but... Um, and 10.7... I mean, there's, nobody's talking about deprecating 10.7 just yet, but... Um, but 10.6 is a possibility. Anything, anything that the vendor has said we're not going to support it anymore, you know, it begins to get silly for us to spend the, the very significant time and energy it takes to maintain compatibility with it. I mean, the longer something is out of, out of date, uh, the more it costs us to do the extra work to keep it working. Um, XP, I, in my personal non, not speaking as a Linden lab, representative, but in my personal judgment, XP crossed that threshold uh, about a year ago. Um, but since Microsoft hadn't claimed that it wasn't supported anymore, we had kind of had to keep going. Um, that's not true anymore. So um, they well, officially said they're dropping for, for, for about three more weeks or so. Yeah, right. I mean, it's, yeah. right. It's coming, it's coming to the end of the line. So um, uh, it, it's going to be a pretty easy case to make that we should declare that to be un, uh, unsupported. So, what you know, these decisions take a long time in any corporate environment, but... Well, we more or less follow your lead when it comes to uh, what operating systems are supported. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that way we can, know that is, that way we can blame you. Except yeah, that you get out in front of us and take the arrows in your back on, or, or the credits on 64 bit, which is great. Thank you. Um, one of these days, I hope to be asking for your help with that. <laughs> yeah, the problem with XP is that it's like 40% of the market still, you know, and that's really difficult to say no. Well, it isn't yeah. with Second Life users. I mean, it's not even close. It's, it's, 
it's falling down into the low single digits now. So. As far as the 64-bit goes, Oz, you should have no trouble convincing the, the powers that be once uh, that they see the lower, much lower crash rate on the 64-bit. Yeah, except that we have a much lower crash rate on 64-bit anyway. The delta between what you get for running on 64-bit and for building on 64-bit is actually not that big. That's the, that's the, hmm. that's the counter argument. Um, the, the fact is that people installing the viewer we have on 64-bit OSs are already getting a huge benefit. Um, so if your hardware can run it, you should do it. No question. Um, uh, but uh, it, it will be, life will be better. Uh, but the incremental benefit, and, you know, we have to rebuild everything. Yeah, I have done it in uh, in an afternoon. Well, well over a weekend, really. Good. I got a question for you, Oz. How is Linden... I mean, are there any plans from Linden Lab to actually upgrade AutoBuild to handle 64-bit builds? AutoBuild is completely agnostic to what kind of builds you're doing. I don't understand the question. Oh, no, it doesn't currently it's separate it's uh, the installables from 32-bit or 64-bit installables. I mean, oh, when you tell it to do it on the stuff. Right? Okay. Yep, mm -hmm. um, that's the problem. If we support 64-bit, we will. Yeah, sure. It's because right now uh, I'm doing a hack to do a 64-bit Linux build, and every third-party viewer is currently doing hacks to do 64-bit because we have no idea how Linux Lab is going to uh, treat it uh, as far as auto build is concerned. Yeah, uh, right. Um, it's not that well, big a patch, really. Yeah, that would compared to the other stuff I'm trying to do with auto build, that'll be easy. Yeah. So. yeah. You should be moving what to build to dev null, you know, that's what you should be doing with it. Well, we're not going there. Behind yeah, no, but... Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to add transitive dependency checking to autobuild. This is my little private side coding project. Speaking of start source, how is it going with untangling that mess? Uh, well... I, I have I have managed to get a few good queries working, um, but I haven't gotten um, stable reports on hardware stats yet. What I have done recently was got a one-off version for a couple of our specific versions where we were having problems, and it, it turned out to provide uh, some important insights into where our problems really were. We had a particular one of the candidates that, that uh, had a, a really horrible crash rate that we couldn't figure out why it had a really horrible crash rate. And um, I, uh, through a series of, of, of hints, I got the notion in my head that maybe the problem was platform specific. And I got um, our, our data folks to put together a, a one-off breakdown by hardware platform just for that and our released viewer. And it pinpointed the fact that all of the difference in the crash rate was on Windows XP. Um, it, it was, it was, it was really dramatic. It was like this giant red flag. You know, it was one of these, these, these wonderful, these wonderful What's about, things. Um, so, definitely... so the the value of having that kind of stat has been has at least once been demonstrated. So, whether or not we can get somebody to to take what we did and package it up as something that we can do on a routine basis. Um, remains to be seen, or rather how long it will take remains to be seen. If it gets done, it will get done in a way that I can apply to you guys as well as to us. What um, about the proper grouping by channel of the crash stars that we get? You know, yeah, I'd like to I, see I, I have looked and looked at the problem with your channel stats, and I cannot figure out why yours come out the way they do, frankly. Um, and nobody else has the problem. Um, so I'm a little you, puzzled about that. And you have also verified that we are actually sending the correct data to, to the system. Uh, right? As far as I've been able to tell in the logs, you're sending exactly the right stuff. Yes. Um, I have no idea where that error creeps in. It's, it's really got me baffled. Uh, I, 
I, I can't explain it at all. I, I'm suspecting some wildcard in the query there. Uh, you, you could be right. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's it's possible that what you're seeing is the same viewers counted twice, only some of them aren't always counted. I I really don't. I, I really don't know. There's a there's a lot of machinery between the viewer sending that data to login.cgi and it coming out in the stats query system that I use. Uh, and I don't even know what all that machinery is. Um, that is, I don't know. I don't, I have no visibility into the code along that whole path. Um, so I really can't, I can't say I've ordered the whole, the whole sequence because I, because I haven't. Um, yeah, I can, I can do, I can do, I have I have access to everything. What I don't have is the is the the, uh, the deep SQL know how to make it work um, in all the ways it needs to. Uh, that the, the the a couple of times that I've asked for help on something I couldn't figure out how to do, I've I've gotten bad <laughs> I've, I've I've gotten back. You know, oh, all you have to do is a query like this, and they give me this this like. You know, three thousand word. <laughs> it's really easy. Developers. Just do this, and there's this. And there's this this massive blob of of SQL that you know uh, that I can, if I stare at it really hard for a long, long time, I can sort of figure out how it works. But um, you know, it's 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 basically way beyond me. So um, yeah, it's. Uh, so, you know, I'm trying, but uh, I can only do the easy stuff so far. Um, so, other topics? Has anyone uh, played with the test build of the group ban viewer here of the developers? With it. So, yeah, you guys so were eager to get that. It doesn't work at all for me. That's why I'm asking if it's if it's working at all. You know, it doesn't do anything for me. Uh, on a DD, it is. On, I was on on uh, in Morris, the, where the server group is meeting, and I I have a uh, how I ban. How am I supposed to ban? You need to be given the permissions to ban from the group. It's a new role. Oh my, who's that? Is that you, Tank? Yeah, that was over modulated. Yeah. I didn't understand that. You were really oh. loud. I, I heard you without my headphones, even on my head. Really, what I did was open the group in go into mem the new tab that appears there, ban residence, and there is a button underneath that says add or ban another one. Or, and I click on that and it opens the, the, the resident chooser, and then when I select somebody, nothing happens. Do you have the permission to uh, modify the ban request? Because that's a little bit you have to yourself. I'm the owner. I, uh, do I have to? Uh, does no owner have all the by default all the permissions? I'm not sure. Yes, owner has that right by default. I'll give it another try, but it didn't do anything for me when when I I just you know I could go through all the motions, but nobody got added, and I I, I read the list of uh, the you know known issue that it doesn't show up immediately, so. I added somebody to bond and then relogged and logged in again and the, the bond list was still empty. Yeah, no, I tested I tested over there and it worked fine for me. Um, my question is uh, uh, for Oz, um, where's Baker to tell us uh, what he found out from the test? <laughs> and by I, the way, the, the, I don't know. The UI says uh, banned agents, and I know for developers who do code and stuff, agent is a known thing, but I don't think anywhere in the UI you will see agent. 
It's usually referred like barn resident or something. Well, the average uh, user, I don't think, knows what agent means. They start thinking of... of um, yeah, it should be replaced with resident, I think. Or whatever uh, else is... Yeah, it, it's... Uh, all the strings in the UI are supposed to get reviewed at some point going through the process. Maybe he hasn't been through that step yet. Um, you, you can tell that... It was named by a developer and not a user, <laughs> because yes, agent is yes. what a developer uses, but not the terminology that a, a user would understand. I'll give it another shot uh, later to see if, uh, if, you know, what's going on and why it's not working at all for me. It's because we don't want you to hear what we're saying, Tank. Click, 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 click. That's Oz. Oz has a noisy keyboard. I thought he was on a Mac. Is it a professional uh, keyboard? <laughs> Oz needs to get an IBM Model M. It's a Kinesis Ergo keyboard. And yeah, it's a little on the noisy side. Sorry, should have turned my mic off. I sent... I sent Baker a note about the agents thing. So I guess the only thing I have is uh, uh, crack the whip on Baker, get a couple of those other RCs cleared out so you've got room for the group bands to get in there so that we can get out sooner, please. All right, we'd love to do that. And Coco. Interest list has been in progress quite a long time. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about just how much code is going to be in that, but more concerned that interest list might turn into another Chewy, being having all kinds of other stuff merged into it as well. Well, I mean, you can see what's in it, right? The, that, that repo is public. Um, it does have a bunch of refactoring of of things that people decided needed refactoring in the process that, that may or may not have been strictly needed as part of interest list. Um, as that is part of the functional change that that branch is doing. But um, some of it was like, there's a new trace capability that's for, for uh, that's, that's been used in a bunch of places that they needed to take the measurements that they wanted to take about it. Um, that does seem at this point to be, uh, it's it's getting um, comparable stability to the other candidates. Um, in fact, it's better than some, and uh, it's comparable, very, very, very comparable to the current release candidate. So um, that having been said, even the current release is higher than we want it to be. I mean, we're near the high end of our of the range that we usually move up and down in. Um, so, uh, so I wouldn't characterize its crash rate as something we're happy about, um, but it isn't any worse than the release viewer. Um, so by that logic, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty clearly um, among the front runners for promotion and moving to viewer release. Um, it shouldn't be difficult for you to figure out whether it's going to be any harder to merge than anything else. Um, the stuff that's likely to get ahead of it in line is is basically anything that looks like it's going to push that crash rate down. Um, so far, we don't have one that does that. So, um, so I don't know. Um, I hey, it is much harder to merge in. I've never successfully done it, and I usually can do pretty good with them. The problem I'm running into is the changes in LL Common and, and other libraries. So right. Things have entirely different functions than what are presently in use. Right. I understand. So, um, uh, yeah. I mean, in that sense, you're you're probably going to have 
a little more challenged with that one than with any of the others, in fact. Uh, so uh, that and uh, sunshine, of course, removes um, more code that was only there in support of local baking that we don't need anymore. So. Um. Us, I have another question as well. With sure. the with the normal ban list for things for such as avatars and items, I'm still experiencing some issues with with objects not being with not being able to remove them from the ban list. Is there something that's supposed to be getting put in place for that to be fixed, or is What's the status on that? Uh, unless you have a specific JIRA issue that I can look up to help you with that, I don't have anything like that in Okay, in, well, I know there is, a fire, there is a JIRA on, JIRA on the Firestorm viewer on that because, and I know there was something mentioned about it, I think from, and sorry about, having to go to support to get to get it to get the broken items fixed uh, it's the one on the ban list Borley. it's one i filed i can't remember which one it is hold on just a minute and i'll look it up <laughs> really will know she knows everything I wish we, we had the, the, the build page for this uh, group ban viewer. Is it possible also for you to, to get that page that automatically updates from that download link that really pasted? Um, I, I, will, I will check and see whether or not we can make those sources public, but I don't know. N not sources for now. I was just looking for uh, the the Team City bill paid for it, for that particular channel. The, the, the one I got was uh, from, uh, from the server beta wiki page. They had links for that build. Yes, Worley, if I'm right, I think it's this power on Artara. And that, that's... Oz, you don't have voice in if you're trying to talk. We're not hearing you. No, I wasn't. Uh, I actually oh, was deliberately dogs. muted because my dogs are going crazy in the background. Um, I don't know what they're barking at down there. Um, Squirrel. Something. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's the one I had and that I couldn't get it to work. But I see that people who got it to work had an earlier build. Yeah, we, we got uh, really? a new we got a new dog a few weeks ago. He he has how's the, how's he working out? Great, great. He's awesome. wonderful. They're getting along famously, and 
he's a great dog. We're really, happy. he's got a. He's actually not a very big dog, but he's got a big dog bark. I saw a picture of him. He's very cute. He's very cute. Might mean a new dog, Oz, but I think the volume control was broken a little. Bit, though. Want to <laughs> get that. Fixed. Oh, really, thank you. That's the link I was looking for. But I have tried this 929 build, and that's the one that didn't work for me. Yeah, somebody should sample uh, that uh, dog's uh, bark and put it on Oz's parcel here. <laughs> oh, chase off trespassers. That, that would be fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I don't know what they're barking at down there. He sees one he of the neighbors dogs. Uh, you know, something. I'm dog sitting the neighbor's um, beagle slash something else. I don't even know what it is, but it's just a dumb dog. Face. He's not even, he's got like no redeeming qualities. I have to take him for walks and I, I he's, he's not even cute. And he's dumb. <laughs> I'm a cat person. Latif, I'll also try the newer build. Um, I'm downloading it at the moment. So. Will you please let me know if you are able to, to ban anyone? Yep. Because I wasn't able to on, on that new build and I haven't tried the, 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 the older one. He did tell me that he thought he merged some things wrong, so that might be part of the problem. Oh, and Tank, I gotta turn you back up now. I turned you down earlier. Yeah, but I don't want to make a bug report, so, you know, like nothing works. It's not going to be very helpful right. for them. Well, I, we appreciate that, Latif. Really, that's... Thank you. Even, even the nothing works one? <laughs> uh, well, because, right, you know, those are, the, those are the most maddening ones, because, you know, it's... It's pretty rarely the case that as developers we publish a build that hasn't worked for us. So, you know, when somebody reports it's just broken, that, you know, that, that doesn't really carry the well, ring of the, the UI is there and it's pretty. It does something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just has no effect whatsoever. <laughs> That's oh, what we can no longer self ban ourselves? Darn it. Uh, that, that's almost as bad as the one uh, juror we had, sub juror we had, where they said things not resing and showed a picture. That's all the description that was there, and the guy threw a picture in of him and somebody else standing in a field. Um, as it turned out, his house didn't res for him. You know, self banning is a real problem. I had for the longest time trouble with with uh, people. You know, I think some scripted devices that, that display a menu and people call me and said, this thing doesn't work, you know, and nine out of 10 times it was they mute their own objects. And when you mute an object, when you click on it, you know, it ignores the, 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 the dialogue menu. We can up you on that. Um, we have spam protection in Firestorm, and for the longest time, uh, so spam protection works by recognizing a series of, of text posts from somebody or some object, and, and it'll automatically mute you if you turn it up too high. Um, people are muting, having themselves muted, and then complaining because they couldn't see their text. <laughs> and it took us a while to figure out what was going on. I think that's when I figured out that if you muted your alt, I could log in or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, but so uh, people were muting themselves. Yeah, muting yourself meant that all of your objects all of a sudden stopped working. You don't yeah. see any notifications from them. And we do still get people de-rendering themselves. Yeah, perhaps you should forbid that as well. <laughs> it's it's a nice feature, but not to yourself. <laughs> That would, that would be nice if you could fix it where we don't de-render ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it should probably have a check. Actually, it might now, I don't know. It doesn't come up as an option in the context menu at all. No, I think we have a check in there now. 
So, Oz, what are the chances of you uh, um, dragging Baker along to the next third party viewer meeting? Yeah, how come he's not around? We don't see him. He was on earlier today. I saw him. Uh, I will make a point to invite him two weeks from now. Cool. Why don't you just uh, God teleport him now? <laughs> he's not logged in. I have to adjust the time again, you know. Goddamn time this, changes. This uh, <laughs> this meeting is this meeting is at lunchtime on, you know, in, in California. Yeah, I was gonna say oh. eating is overrated. It's it's, it's, more it's easy for people. It's easy for people to forget this meeting. I'm afraid. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bring well, Monty comes here to with his mouth full. And all sorts of stuff for him. Mon Monty's not California, so. Oh, he's usually eating at these meetings anyway. <laughs> well, that's, that's a different question altogether. Uh, I'm looking at this can it manage block list thing. Uh, Speaking of Monty, what's he working on now that uh, he's done with the HTTP VR release? Ask the one that I'm seeing with the chart that I found with the power storm. On the power storm chart, it was for was for bug four nine four nine on your chart. It's that's supposed to be the same bug that and sorry as I understand the files, but that's one I can't see. Right. Yeah, I'm looking at the internal at the internal version of that, um, and we have reproduced it. Um, I don't see that anybody has done any work on it, but I, I might not see that even if it was true that somebody had that is. But our QA has reprobed it, so it's in the queue for things to get fixed. Okay, so it is in the queue then. Yeah, it's it's been acknowledged and accepted. So patience. We agree that it exists and that it's a problem. That's good. That's, that's wonderful. That's all the status I have on it, though. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, uh, Monty, Monty is uh, uh, is the is the person who's been doing the lion's share of the work on that hotfix release. Um, <laughs> but the um, but uh, as Nick said in text, uh, the HTTP project is is not is is cannot be said to be done. Although it's you know reached a, an important milestone. Did you see that uh, Google is implementing HTTP over UDP now with their quick protocol? Uh, I, I had not seen anything about that, no. It's very interesting. Uh, if you have a few moments out of curiosity, you can check it out. It's quick. It's spelled Q-U-I-C. Yeah, I, it, I think that uh, I, I, I had heard references to it, but... Um, I've been paying more attention to the HTTP 2.0 work going on at the ITF, which is very interesting stuff and probably really valuable. Yeah, but HTTP 2.0 is very interesting. I read the, the, the draft spec and it seems interesting, but uh, but what Google engineers in their justification for quick said, you know, with uh, multiplexing protocols like uh, Speedy and HTTP 2.0, you, you have uh, one, uh, you know, dropped packet hold all of your streams that are multiplexed using that channel and quick is trying to avoid that with using udp which is basically connectionless and managing all that in in its own implementation the end user of quick protocol gets basically what tcp does but the underlying implementation makes sure that multiplex streams don't stall if one of the streams stall yeah I, i'm i'm not familiar with that that one i would be interested in uh, maybe I'll look it up sometime when I've got some time to go back to my roots. Uh, but uh, the interesting thing would be whether or not they're correctly dealing with congestion management. Because if they're not, it will it will just tear the whole thing down. It will, it will they already put disaster. it in. They already put it in their web service and in Chrome. So it's it's getting. You know what? Existence proofs are not this. proofs. <laughs> um, I sort of trust Google to know what they're doing when it comes to stuff like this. Well, uh, I hope you're right. Uh, I, but no, I'm not familiar with it. Uh, 
Let's see. There's some other stuff in chat I've gotten behind on. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, it's time for me to move on to the next thing, unless there's a hot topic that needs to be dealt with. Last call for hot topics. Coco and Baker, but we already covered them. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got nothing else. Q&A tomorrow. Oz, you're free to come over. Uh, Nix, you guys can invite your friend Abby, even. Tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. East Coast time? Uh, second left time. Yeah, not It's like 11 our time. Yeah, I swear I thought so the, 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 my RSS feed said something about Sunday. No, uh, I better check my my post now. No, I'm pretty sure it said Saturday. Well, you got me if questioning if, what I wrote. If, you know my time zone. If I'll schedule it sometime when it's not in the middle of my weekend. I'll think well, the it. trouble is that's when people are available to come to it. It's certainly not by, you know, my choice. All right, it says Saturday. I was wrong. Sorry. I'll, I'll watch yeah, the recording at the beginning of the week. <laughs> I'm going to have a little rant about antiviruses flagging our oh, software. We had major, major trouble with... Uh, with Did you? With, with, uh, our, uh, our last release, it was... Uh, was it a vast? I think it was a vast. A vast. Not only did they block the download, but they flagged the whole singularityviewer.org domain. Yeah, we've had as, that happen too. Yeah. As malicious. Norton, Norton's doing that to us on this release. So I and tried to open... have vast. We've had uh, Norton now. We've had uh, all kinds of different ones. We've had our site. We've had the website flagged and blocked. We've had, you know, it's just. You know what works? Twitter shaming, you know, I tried opening tickets, I tried uh, emailing them, I yeah, tried, you know, them, song and dance, you know, I had a tweet saying, you know, you know, this thing is a piece of shit and everybody should uninstall it right now, and I got, <laughs> I got it fixed in like two hours, it was really? unlocked, and all, yes, with Take a lot, nothing oh, else, you know, I tried for five days to get them to, to unbound the site and, uh, you know, to prove that no, there is really no virus in this thing. Nothing worked. But then I went on a rant on Twitter and I don't have, you know, I have only like three, four hundred followers. You know, I'm not, not uh, that popular on Twitter. But it worked. Ah. It, got, it got their attention. The and team was, here know, has, uh, our Twitter account has quite a few followers. I'm going to try that, Latif. Yeah, that, that that worked with with last, and 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 you know they apologized profusely, and you know stuff happens, and they were all all of a sudden all nice, and all the proper channels how you're supposed to do that that didn't oh, work. Oh, it's crap. At all. Yeah, I've I've tried it. it. Like submit your software to be whitelisted takes three months, you know, and by then you've got another release out. You got to submit it. it. It's just you know doesn't end I'm going to try shaming them I'll, we'll twitter it damn right you can also you know I know you have uh, bought your own server and installed it for downloads but uh, oh it's worked really well <clears throat> you know you can put uh, on Bitbucket you, you can clone your repository there and put downloads up temporarily that's what we did you know, so people, uh, you know, who have trouble downloading and uh, getting around the antivirus thing, we just send them, you know, you it's know, we have uh, the same downloads on, on Bitbucket and on GitHub, and we send them all these different places, and, you know, antivirus will <laughs> eventually let one of those, you know, download. Oh, right, yeah, that's true. Hmm. And they trust sites, you know, they have whitelist, you know, Bitbucket and GitHub and, and these these big uh, open source sites. They they usually don't get flagged if you download them from there. Well, that's the point. This is a new server, so they've not had any releases from... Uh, we've not obviously had a release coming from yep. downloads.firestormviewer.org. I hadn't thought of that. 
when, when I when we first started making the, our alpha builds, it was a brand new site, and Google Chrome would just simply refuse to download from there. It would say, you know, this is a malicious software, and you cannot download it. And I was looking through forums and stuff. To what what might be, you know, the solution to, you know, they all have this reputation marking now. So if you don't have a reputation to be good software yet. You are bad software and you get blocked. We Only should have a reputation by now because... You, you have mean, a new server. That server doesn't have a reputation Yeah, yet. that's true. Mm. So one of the things, one of the hints that I found was that, you know, if your download site and download links use HTTPS instead of plain HTTP, it adds points to your reputation. And as soon as I added HTTPS to the, our alpha download side, uh, Chrome stopped complaining about it being malicious software. That so go figure, exact mm -hmm. same file, exact same location, one over HTTPS, one over HTTP, the one gets marked malicious, the other one doesn't. Tag? With a self-signed cert or a CA cert? You can get a free certificate from startsl.com, and I've been using those, and those work just like a charm. Yeah. Cell sign search typically get flagged, but cell sign search are getting very, very popular because they're NSA proof. Yeah, but you don't need a cell sign certificate. You can get one for free, and it truly works, and it's real. It's not, not some bullshit, uh, you know, startsl.com. You know, I've used those guys for four or five years now, and their certificates are truly free and working and free. Well, we digitally sign uh, our binaries. We tried digitally signing SL plugin and SL voice as well, and um, in in the hopes that you know maybe SL plug because SL plugin and SL voice get flagged more often than just the binary does. Um, and it didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. And we pay three hundred bucks a month or a year for for our, our certificate. And in fact, it's almost a waste of money. I mean, we're still keeping, we're still doing it only because it helps users to know that, you know, this installer definitely came from us and not someone else. But um, otherwise, it's more or less been a waste of money. Yeah, I tried that myself and um, it didn't help at all. And, um, Start Tesla also offers those, and I think they are only 60 bucks for two years for the code signing certificate. Well, that's a lot cheaper. We're going through um, uh, Global Sign. They're uh, Microsoft certified or whatever. Yes, Trinity, the, the, you know the link, the, the alpha build for Singularity that I put there, it's a start to sell uh, certificate, and no browser that I know of will uh, show warning on it. You can click on it and see. <laughs> and Google Chrome, when, when you download files through HTTPS from that site, doesn't complain at all. But... Yeah, this whole SSL thing is, uh, it's got two bad things on it. One one thing, the CAs are nothing but a scam in some of the cases. I mean, VeriSign was the worst one. I think they wanted like a thousand bucks a year for a cert, just so you can get rid of that warning box. <laughs> the second one was that they gave everyone a false sense of security because, uh, as Snowden revealed, the end, so they could tap into anybody, uh, SSH connection. SSL connection, I mean. Or if you are using Apple products, then everybody can be NSA. Yeah, see, that's the thing. With the self-signed cert, the NSA doesn't have a wild card for it. So as long as you uh, check the fingerprint on it and then, you know, make sure that you download the right self-signed cert and begin with, and then uh, if someone tries to do a middle of man attack to you, even if they are from the NSA, you'll still fly the browser and say, hey, something's wrong. You guys keep talking about NSA, and we're all going to become persons of interest. We already have, Jess. 
You are associating with some of the whole Latif, Latif Khalifa. You are already on one hop from, from being watched, you know, so. Yeah, well, what's interesting is that the NSA does have software to listen on to voice channels, but they take up so much CPU resources that uh, they have to uh, uh, only do it on channels of interest, only, uh, unfortunately. But however, for text, they could do it in, anywhere because computers can uh, go through text like crazy. Me being here makes you all hop one target, so they will be listening to you, so you know, just so you're warned. There you go. All right, I'm out of here, folks. Jess, I'll bug you later. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit.